We're going to solve the following separable differential equation. dy dx is equal to 6y. The idea behind the separable differential equation is we want to isolate a single variable on the left side and a single variable on the right side. So in this case, let me isolate dy divided by y, where we divided y on both sides of this equation. And on the left side, y over y cancels out. And we're going to multiply 6 x, or dx, I'm sorry, and then we er, where we uh, multiply dx on both sides, the dx cancels on the left side, and we're going to integrate using the integral tables. On the left side, that leads the natural logarithm of the absolute value of y, and this leads 6x plus an arbitrary constant c. Taking the exponential on both sides of this equation yields e to the natural logarithm of the absolute value of y is equal to the exponential of 6x plus c. Now we're going to simplify the right side a little bit, e to the 6x, using the law of exponents for summing, c right here. But we can replace e to the c with another arbitrary constant, c1. Since c is an arbitrary constant, e to the c is just another arbitrary constant. So that yields c1 e to the 6x. Now on the left side, the operation of exponential natural logarithm cancels each other out. And on the left side, it yields the absolute value of y, which will equal to c1 e to the 6x. We can replace the absolute value sign with two solutions, which is equal to plus or minus c1 e to the 6x. Now we can verify the solution here with this differential equation by performing the appropriate operation and see if this relationship is true. So here, when we do dy dx, that's equal to the derivative with respect to x of c1. We'll just take the positive one, but it will work also as well for the negative. c1 times e to the 6x. And when you do that operation, that yields 6c1 e to the 6x. Now the other side of this equation is just 6y. So 6y, 6 times y, but we know that y is c1 is equal to the 6x. Okay, So this is equal to y. But we see that here and here, these two equations are equal, which turns out to satisfy this differential equation.